Hey, Christian, what's going on? This is Yoda from my swag bag giveaway. Thought I'd just make a quick E3 video, you know, what I would have done, stuff like that. Okay, E3 2010 was amazing this year. I would have had to check out Sony. They had so much stuff to show. I was getting a little bored with the move stuff, but I'm definitely going to pick it up. It was an awesome, awesome motion capture. I'm just picking up for so common kills on three. I care less about the other stuff. And that sorcery game looks kind of decent as well. And I'll get for Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11. I just got the game, so I'll pick that up as well. But the, one of my favorite parts of E3 that I missed this year was going to see the Kevin Butler speech. That was my favorite part of E3 altogether. One of the best and most motivational, it was right to my heart speeches. Kevin Butler, if you're watching, you're amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. Definitely, I would have had to go meet you. I would have had to meet Tor Davis from the Bitbag, Hip Hop Gamer, all the people from the War Zone. Would have had to check out the uh, crew from the Tester. Nauseous was there, Amped was there, Doc was there, of course Cyrus was there. Man, I would have been checking out so many PlayStation games, I would have checked out the new Twisted Metal. Definitely, um, SOCOM 4, if I would have gotten a chance to play it. Gran Turismo 5, Killzone 3, Motors from Apocalypse. I mean, just Sony brought their A game, really. I thought they did an excellent job. Microsoft had a few things to show. Gears of War 3 looks pretty awesome. Halo, well, it looks like Halo. Halo always looks like Halo. Fable, we saw a trailer, big deal. Connect, waste of money. Seriously, don't even waste your time with it. 150 bucks, are you kidding me? Seriously? And their games are 50 bucks a pop? Do you think I'm crazy? No. None of them look like full-fledged games to me, so I'm skipping Connect. Heck, I'm just skipping Xbox altogether, most likely. Nintendo. Awesome job. They did great. They threw out Zelda. They really listened to their fans. They're throwing out Zelda. They're throwing out Goldeneye. They threw the 3DS. Did not see that coming, but it was pretty darn sweet. I mean, I didn't get to play it, but I had some buddies that went to E3, and they said it was pretty awesome. And they'll be picking one up, so I might have to find the game on this handheld business to get a 3DS. Uh, what else was there? Um, obviously, there's stuff on the show floor, obviously. But Marvel vs. Capcom 3, oh god, that game was awesome. I saw the, uh, I saw some gameplay of it, and it looks very awesome. I'm gonna have to definitely pick that up. APB, I played the beta for a while, it was pretty decent. Nothing to write home to mom about, but, uh, Portal 2. When he came out on the stage and talked about PlayStation, I was like, wow, this is dude that bashed Sony in the first place. Now he's come back and saying he want, he's gonna do some exclusive stuff for PS3. I'm like, yes. I'm like, I love Portal 2. I beat it like six times on my PC. What an amazing game. It's definitely worth everyone. Everyone needs to check this game out. I mean, it was free on Steam for like a couple months, so you have no excuse not to play Portal 2. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I know E3 is during the day. What goes on at night? Parties, man. Parties, parties, parties. Would have been at several of them. Would have been at the, I believe there was the PlayStation party, I'm not, the Sony blog party, I believe it was. Heard that was pretty good. Um, the SFX 360 party I heard was just crazy. Definitely would have been up in there. Would have been having a good time, getting some drinks. Would have been great. Heard Activision's concert was, you know, it was cool. It really didn't show anything, but a full-fledged concert? Hell, why not? I would have had to meet up with the cheap-ass gamer people, Cheapy D, Wombat, Shipwreck. Definitely would have had to go check out their party. And I would have also had to check out um, some other friends of mine that went to E3, uh, TQCast.com. Definitely would have had to go meet up with them and TheGamesman.com. I'm actually part of TQCast. Blue Agave is the uh, podcast I am on, so check us out at uh, TQCast.com. And, uh, yeah, that's my video. I uh, hope I want some swag. Me had some awesome, awesome shirts there, I'm not going to lie. Some lanyards are always good. And, uh, yeah. Pick me, hopefully. Alright, Kristen. Have a good one.